Hey, Burning Abyss decided that it wanted to be able to be a topping deck this format, which is actually pretty interesting. And then we have more DDD for you guys. <laughs> 30% of you guys have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up, you guessed it, the 100k ladder here. The first one we're going to be looking at is Burning Abyss. Now, Burning Abyss is actually, I think we we're mostly used to seeing the trap version of this deck, where you basically just set all of the traps in the world, use your Dante's. It's basically your little floating gimmick, all things considered here. Um, I haven't really seen much of a, I guess consideration to go back to like the more standardized version. Also something else I guess interesting here, Stone King into uh, Deuce Machina, or Machina here. Not something I really considered with the Burning Abyss package here, but once again, new uh, new format, new ideas. Players are actually having success with this. So kudos to seeing that this deck managed to get first place here. So we have one copy of Alich, Male Branch of the Burning Abyss. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. One copy of Barbar, one copy of Calcab, triple copies of Seer, triple effect bill. This is going to be especially important right now, considering, uh, you know, one Lubellion or any of the other potential cards that your opponent can make and just kind of poop on your field at the beginning of it. So definitely need that. Two copies of Farfa. We have triple copies of Fiendish Rhino Warrior, triple copies of Graf, one copy of Libic. Triple copies of Scar Marino, triple copies of Tour Guide, one Call by the Grave, triple copies of Forbidden Chalice, triple Forbidden Droplet, one Harpies Feather Duster, two Desizes, and triple copies of Infinite Permanence here. Down here in the extract, we have one Utopic Future with one Utopic Future Draco. That's pretty standard. We have one Number 71, two Downer Magicians, triple Zeus. Yes, considering the fact that... Uh, we just start basically a Zeus turbo deck, it feels like, at this point. You just stack up, like, multi-material Zeus's every single turn, and you're like, oh, yeah, free real estate, because, you know, all of your Burning Abyss effects are just free. Uh, we have Triple Dante, one copy of the Stone King Darius with one Deuce Makina, one Beatrice, and one Dante the Pilgrim. Uh, then we have Triple Lava Golem, triple copies of Defusion. Triple copies of Mistaken Arrest, Triple Regeki, and Triple copies of Dimensional Barrier here. Wrapping up uh, our hot take for Burning Abyss, and I am pretty intrigued with this list. I, I hope you watching this will give this a shot and have some fun with this. Next up is the power of DDD. Now, one of the more interesting little tech choices that we've seen for DDD as of late has been the inclusion of the Archfiend Eccentric. Um, it's just also being like a uh, high scale that you can scale up and do your thing because there's really no like repercussions for scaling this. It also doubles down as spell and trap popping material, which is something else that you really want. Like a quick little pop off, either via monster or spell and trap, definitely something to really consider in terms of having access to it in your toolbox. All right. So we have one copy of the Archfiend Eccentric, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring and then triple copies of D.D. Crow. D.D. Crow's overall scaling in this format has actually gone up immensely. Uh, this and Ghost Spell, I feel like, are kind of battling for supremacy in terms of which one you want to see more of. But I will say I do think that the Crow has a lot more application versus something like Sword Soul because you can hit, you know, your opponent's key stuff out of the graveyard before they can fire off a 10 e effect, for example. So that multi-purposing aspect is kind of what you want to value a little bit more. We have triple copies of DD Griffin, one copy of Lamia, one Necro Slime, two copies of Orthros, triple copies of Savant Copernicus, triple copies of Savant Kepler with one Thomas Tang Engine, Triple copies of Swirl Slime, one Vice Typhon, one Abyss King Ragnarok with one Rage, and then we have one Called by the Grave, triple copies of Dark Contract with a Gate, one Dark Contract with a Swamp, one one for one. Then we have Triple Small World. One interesting thing with this being in here now, we can bridge the gap with it even easier to get more searching options for our deck, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I would have considered Small World much in this deck because Pyre's map just kind of fills the bill a little bit easier. But you know what? More options and more utility for this deck does not seem like a bad thing whatsoever. 
We have one Headhunt, one copy of Dark Contract with Eternal Darkness, and two copies of Infinite Permanence here. Down here in the extract, we have triple copies of Abyss King Gilgamesh, because you will step three, or step through three in some combos. We have one Zeus, one copy of Kaiser, one Big Kaiser, one Marksman King Tell, two copies of Big Ol' Makina, one Cursed Siegfried, one Baron, one copy of the Oracle King the Ark. I know a lot of people have kind of cut this, so to see that this is back in play for a list is very nice. We have two copies of Genghis and one Super King Genghis. Side deck here we have triple draw and Lockbird, triple Space Rock, triple Gamma, triple Token Collector, one Driver, and two copies of Night Beam here, wrapping up our little DDD list. For you guys. Next up here is Salad Man Grey. Now, Salad has been gaining a lot of popularity as of late. I think that this has been one of the, uh, I would say, more interesting decks that players have been having success with out here. And, you know, especially now that Circle's back at three. I mean, Mirage Dalio's at three. You really didn't play more of this, but for some reason, that's kind of the general consensus across the community is oh no, like, we gotta bring this back in more capable numbers at this point in time. So, all real things considered here, Salamangrate still looks very standard on paper here. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom, Enjoy a Spring. Triple DD Crow, once again, you're seeing that crow stepping up here and doing what it does best. We do have triple copies of Droll and Lockbird for this. Um, I'm still not a super big fan of Droll and Lockbird right now. I, I do understand, like, there is some searching functionality that you get out of, or preventing with having this in the main deck, but it's just that. It's interesting. We have two copies of Effect Veiler, triple copies of Lady Debug, triple copies of Parallel Exceed, one Salaman Great Falco, two Foxies, one Gazelle, one Jack Jaguar. We're playing one copy of Mir. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that in a while. We have triple copies of Spinny, two Sign Up Mining with two Droplets, Triple copies of Salaman Great Circle, one Sanctuary. We have two Wills, triple Imperm, one Rage, and one Roar. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Update Jammer, the one Transcode Talker, and the one Splash Splash. We have triple Sunlight Wolf, two copies of Balanix, one Lingariba, one Heat Soul, two Access Codes. That's actually interesting. The fact that this looks like it could be a sub option that comes up for something that you're going to need is actually kind of interesting. We have one Mirage Dalio, one Dugaris of Timeless. That's actually something else that's kind of interesting. I hadn't really considered them. We have one Baguski here. Side deck here, we have two Lancia, two Phantasmes, triple Nibiru, two Token Collectors, one Abyss Dweller, one Called by the Grave, two Cosmic Cyclones, and two copies of Twin Twisters here, wrapping up our uh, Salaman Great list. Still seeing Mir in this is very interesting. I also, like I said, this Dugaras, the Timeless, being able to stack up for like a dual revive or, you know, <laughs> doubling the attack of something so you can close the game is actually a very, very important resource. Um, I don't think a lot of Salad players have really considered this as an option card at this point in time. And then next up here, we have Branded Invoked, actually, making top four out of the first tournament um, that the first place list and the first part of this video came in, the Burning Abyss. So we have triple copies of Alistair. The Invoker, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two copies of Didi Kra, triple copies of Ecclesia with a one Floor de Lise, triple copies of Effect Veiler, two Fallen of Albaz, triple copies of Gamma with one Shadal Beast with one Driver. Then we have triple copies of Brain Infusion, one Called by the Grave, two Invocations with triple Magical Meltdown, two Nadir Servants, one terraforming. There's the two talents. I'm glad to see the talents is back in rotation right now. Kind of proving to us that this card is really good. We have one Dogmatica Punishment, triple Imperm, and one Schism. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Secure Gardener, one Almirage, two copies of Titanic Clad, one Mirror Jade, one Lubeliad, one Rasion with one Purgatrio, two Macabas, one Aguides, one Anentis, one Winda, one App Clone, and one Albion. Side deck here, we have Triple Token Collector, Change Your Heart. You've seen not a lot of Change Your Heart this format. Like I said, I think Change Your Heart would be one of those cards that when players do opt to play it, um, you got to hard draw and see it. So citing it in in certain situations will merit its value, but at the end of the day, I don't think there's anything too crazy. We have Triple Cosmic Cyclone, two Forbidden Droplets, Triple Shared Ride, and Triple Copies of Evenly Matched here, wrapping up this chunk of deck profiles 
for you guys. Anything from here you guys want to test, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys say. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. See you guys on Amazon more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.